So much has happened in the last few days. They've gone by like a blur. Shortly after docking in Kiel, I was given new orders. I was transferred from the first flotilla to the second flotilla, which is based in Wilhelmshaven. And not only that, I was given command of a new submarine. A Type 7B submarine, U-55. I requested that my crew would be transferred with me. We had proven ourselves as an effective combat unit, and so the request was approved. We were put on a train and found ourselves in Wilhelmshaven after just a few days, where we begin to familiarize ourselves with our new build. Of course, a Type 7 submarine is much bigger than a Type 2, and requires a bigger crew, so there are a lot of new faces on board. It will be my first task to get to know these men, to learn what they are good at and where their weaknesses are, so that we can work on them together. My aim is to turn this build and its crew into a menace for any English and French shipping at sea. As a new emblem for the boat, the crew have selected an owl. Just like us, the owl is a silent hunter, striking its prey without prior notice, silently, out of the darkness. I hope this emblem will bring us good luck. It does express quite well how motivated the crew is. Oberfenrich Kerger, the watch officer, tells me that the new guys are very happy to have me as their commander, a U-boat ace. Some of them seem to think that my mere presence on board will guarantee us successful patrols. That we will return home to port as heroes where they will be showered with medals. Well, we know that nothing could be further from the truth. Any victory in this war will be hard fought and earned with blood and tears. Kerger agrees. We will see what they are made of when the first depth charges begin to explode. Before setting course for our patrol area, AN51 of the Scottish coast, we have taken a few days to perform maneuver and diving drills to get the crew working together as a unit. Meanwhile, our army has invaded the Netherlands, Belgium and France. It is not right that we should invade neutral countries, even if this helps to avoid a meat grinder like the Great War was. It does leave a bitter taste. We have just received a radio report that an enemy convoy is sailing north along the coast into our patrol area. We are ordered to intercept. This will be U-55's first engagement. The terrible storm that we are in is making things very difficult for us. Visibility is severely limited, so we have to rely on hydrophone search to locate our targets. And we have made contact. So many targets making so much noise. But we have to be careful. It sounds as if there are warships among them. We will not be deterred by that. We are moving in. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign. Well, a lot has happened since the last episode. Foremost, we have a new boat, and quite an amazing one. But, what we are doing right now is we are hunting a convoy. And I think I can see the first ships over there. So, let's actually go ahead and turn in. Yeah, I definitely have ships over there in the fog. The question is how many, and the second question is are there any warships? We'll figure that out in a moment. For now let's try to get into a good position first. That in itself is never easy. I can't yet tell if that ship is going from left to right, or from right to left. We are once again in a pretty bad storm, which is making things much harder for us than they would need to be. 
But okay, we'll manage. As always. That's a destroyer. I'm pretty sure that's a destroyer. And it's going left to right. Good, that's useful information. But... Okay, we are presenting a very narrow profile to him. That's a merchant. I would have to be very careful with what I shoot at in this weather. Very much so. I will have to set the torpedoes to a depth of at least 6 meters. And... Yeah. That means we have to find some really big ships to shoot at. Okay. We're getting kind of close to that guy. Live to periscope depth. Bring the belt right, 50 degrees. Can't submerge before shells start flying our way. Oh, well, the waves took care of that. That's good. Let's make sure that everybody is at their stations. Yeah, I want you back here now. Let's exchange you, let's exchange you. You guys are okay. Engine crew, they're pretty alright. Pretty well rested. Yeah, now the reports will come flooding in. These guys are okay where they are. We have a torpedo crew at standby, but I want the weapons officer on his station right now. Good. I think everything is prepared well enough. Let's bring this guy in here. Yeah. Do I have some men who are not tired that can maybe take over duties in the torpedo room? Yeah. You go, be exchanged for that one, and I'll bring you to the stern torpedo room, where we do need some replacements. Even though I'm not sure that we will be using the stern torpedo tube at all. But okay, here we go. Let's go to the periscope. Let's take a good look at what's in front of us here. Where's that warship? Contact, Frachter, kommt näher auf 288, große Entfernung. There. That's it. I could try to take a speed reading with that guy. That wouldn't be a bad idea to do. We might even be able to identify what kind of destroyer we are looking at. possible. I very much doubt that they will be able to see me at that range, uh, this range. My periscope should be well hidden in these waves. Can't see any other ships yet apart from these two. Okay, let's go back to 320 and prepare to take a speed reading. If that is at all possible here with these waves. Let's see. Can I see his bow? Will the waves allow that? Okay, I can kind of estimate where his bow is. Contact, Frachter, kommt näher. Now. Auf 282, große Entfernung. Contact, Kriegsschiff, kommt näher. Auf 319, große Entfernung. This is a DD, I believe. So let's go over to the DDs. No, it's not a corvette or a frigate. 
This is a destroyer. Pretty sure about that. Okay, DDs. It's a destroyer with two smokestacks. So we can discard the smaller ones. And we come to the VW class. From here on out we will have a good look at each destroyer, but now I need to estimate when he actually will be passing through the center of the periscope. I think he has already. Yeah, a few seconds ago. I'll have to take another reading. I don't think that this was very precise. So let's prepare that. But let's also try to identify him. Two smokestacks. Let's have a look at the dimensions of the smokestacks. They have the same dimensions, more or less. The first one is a bit bigger, so we can discount the VW class, because here the first smokestack is significantly slimmer. Note you. Tribal class. Contact. Frachter. Kommt näher. Auf 280. Große Entfernung. This guy is too small to be a tribal class destroyer. Let's see if I can spot how many guns he has on deck. One gun in the front on the forecastle and I think another gun in the back, maybe a center gun. Oh, well, there's a gun platform, I'm not sure that it's actually equipped with anything. So we can discount that destroyer as well, discount all the single stack destroyers. Here we go. Let's see. C and D class. Might be. The silhouette looks a little bit like it. But then again, I'm not too sure. Uh, the proportions of the smokestacks to the height of the bridge, it doesn't fit too well, I think. Let's keep looking. A and B class. I honestly don't think it's this one. Hmm. But now we are past the destroyers. Okay, let's prepare to take another speed reading. Why am I trying to identify this ship? Well, if I can identify it, then I will know its dimensions and that will help me to determine range, speed, even AOB. Start the watch. I think he's in a turn though. If he's in a turn, then this speed reading is useless. Oh, he's most definitely in a turn. Let's observe. And let's maybe slow down. Freighter. Freighter. Okay, freighters. Any more destroyers on the flanks? What are you? More freighters appearing out of the fog. This is a big convoy. But I have yet to see a ship that is so big that I would consider it a worthwhile target. Where's the destroyer? Uh, heading for me. Oh. Okay. Let's maneuver then. Let's... Head towards the freighters. I hope I wasn't going too fast and he managed to hear me. Down to 15 meters. Let's make sure that our tower is not broaching the waves. Because that might actually be the case. So let's go a bit deeper. Okay, what kind of destroyer did I look at? It's difficult to tell. It might be an A and, A and B class. It is possible. 
but I cannot be sure. Not yet. If I look at the profile, yeah, that could be it. That could actually be it. Let's close this for now. And these waves. And in this region, okay, let's let's talk about the challenger, the um, the challenge that I'm facing here. What do I have to consider? I have to consider that I am up against a large convoy. Um, I don't know how many warships there are. We might actually attempt to find out by using our hydrophone. There's the one. So we know he's in front. Let's see if we can hear another one. There. There's another one. More or less a 285. Freighter. Freighter. There's something. There's possibly a destroyer behind these freighters. There, on that bearing. Can you hear the, the churning screw noise? Okay. So, there is at least two destroyers. Yeah, listen for this distinct sound. Do you hear it? There's definitely one over in this direction. So we have at least two destroyers out there. Possibly three. We have an unidentified number of merchants in front of us. What will this guy do? I don't know. He is going quite fast right now. Might be steaming towards us. Maybe he has discovered us. In that case, the whole attack is screwed. But we'll see. We will see. For now, Hydrophone. Uh, give me updates on the nearest warship. Let's see if he keeps heading towards us or if he turns away. Now. Okay, the bearing is changing. That's a good sign. Let's take a quick look in that direction. On this bearing. Still heading towards us, or did he turn away? He turned away. I can see two masts down periscope. We have to be careful now. While that thing is near. Let's continue to talk about the challenges. My biggest, my biggest challenge here is that... Yeah, hydrophone. Um, keep silent for a moment. My biggest challenge here is the depth. Um, I took a depth measurement before I started recording. The depth in this area is about 40 meters. That's not a lot of depth to play with. If we get detected, if we get attacked, I'm in really big trouble. Next problem, the weather. 50 meters per second wind. That means that I have to set the torpedoes to at least 6 meters in depth. I can only use impact pistols at this point in the war. Those are the orders of the High Command. So if I shoot at something, I have to find a target that has a draft that is sufficiently deep for a 6 meter deep torpedo to reach it and detonate. I need a really big freighter out there. That's what I'm talking about. Next problem. In my tubes I have loaded in tube number 1 and 4 electric torpedoes, in tubes number 2 and 3 steam torpedoes. I do not want to fire the steam torpedoes in this attack because these leave a very visible bubble trail on the surface. And while it is already past 8 p.m. it is not dark yet and I think it might be at least an hour before it gets dark. I cannot wait that out. I have to attack now. There's no way for me to run down these uh, ships and ghost them until the darkness sets in. 
We are near the English coast. Airplanes might be patrolling here. It would be a very bad idea. So I need to make my attack now. Okay, let's take a quick look around. Hide the fern. Contact nearest warship. 54. You always want to first check on the closest warship contact. Then everything else. But first check on the thing that can kill you. Okay. Might be a bit too deep to use the periscope efficiently. There it is. There he is. Seemingly sailing away. Turn in 30 degrees right. Down periscope. The merchants are following behind him. I'm trying to get into a position where I can have a good chance to execute a 90 degree attack. Come up one meter. If we raise the build by one meter, then it should be easier for the periscope to remain above the surface when I need it. So, if I perform this attack, I will only fire tubes 1 and 4. And since our torpedoes are still extremely unreli unreliable, especially the T2 torpedoes, I will have to fire both torpedoes at one target. That means, yes, we have a nice juicy convoy in front of us, but I will at most be shooting at one target in this attack. What happens afterwards? We'll have to see. For now, this is the plan. The turn has been completed. Or almost completed. Let's be ready to take a good look here. Hydrophone, contact, nearest warship. Closing. Three. There he is. No. Three, five, four. Three, five, four is the closest warship. So there was another destroyer on the other side of the convoy. If yes, I cannot see him. Or that's also a possibility that the other destroyer is currently in a blind spot. Or in a turn that takes him through a blind... Yeah. He turned in. Is he facing towards us or away from us? I think he's facing away from us, which is fine by me. Target in front of us. What's this? You are... You are a freighter, I believe. Yeah, but I need to get closer. Yes, that is a freighter. Is it big enough? No. Next target. What about you? What's your size? What's your story? Single stack... Two masts. I don't think the draft is deep enough. It's pretty hard to tell though. Um, aren't there more targets? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, there are more. They're appearing out of the fog behind them. Okay. Let's remember that there was a destroyer somewhere to the side of the convoy. Before we do anything else, let's take a quick listen to make sure that we know where it's coming from. I don't want it to surprise me. There it is. It's pretty far out, I think. 240. Periscope up. Let's check out 240. No immediate contact in that direction. 240 is clear for now, I believe. Let's have another look. No visual. Back to the targets. A 
Let's see. And I can't get a good look at them. I need to raise the boat a bit Jawohl, more. Neue Tiefe. Eins, drei, Meter. Where's the destroyer? Guy. Hydrophone. Report on closest warship. Dead ahead. Okay, there has to be another destroyer on the other side of the convoy. I just can't see him. Okay, we did raise the submarine slightly. Enough for me to take a look at this merchant, I hope. I want to know their... course. So what I'm looking at right now is to see... Oh, there's a destroyer. Okay, what I'm trying to see right now is when will they be on a, zero, uh, on a 90 degree bearing? Or AOB, not bearing, sorry. That looks promising. Once I know when they are on a 90 degree AOB, I will know their true course. I'll show you what I mean. Let's follow the contact. I'm watching the bridge right now. That's that's the best indicator, I believe. Ninety degrees, AOB, right about. God, damn it! Here, I think it was right here. So 29 degrees starboard weapons officer. We had an AOB of 90 degrees at 29 starboard. Yes, that means they are sailing on a course of 314 degrees. I want to come to a 90 degree intercept course. That means I have to turn into 226 two two six degrees. Let's see. 226. Commence the turn. Periscope down while we are turning. Now the only thing that I need is their speed. Then I will know how to fire my torpedoes. What I can do already there, we are looking at a zero degree angle here. And I know once I have completed my turn, I will be looking at a 90 degree starboard AOB. Good, we have set that. Let's prepare the torpedoes. Depth, six and a half meters. Torpedo one, torpedo four, both six and a half, both impact pistols. Speed setting doesn't matter. We will be shooting a salvo consisting of torpedoes one and four. Salvo of three degrees for now. Might change that. Turn has been completed. Up periscope. We still need to take a speed measurement. Bring the boat up 13 meters. Looking for a valuable target here. There are more and more ships appearing out of the fog, actually. Once we have raised the boat a bit, I will wish to slow down. Uh, that one, not big enough. Might serve us well for speed measurement, though. 
We will find the bigger ships in the middle of the convoy and towards its end. Always be patient. The big targets will come. Uh, that, that back there might be one. This is not a convoy consisting of only one column, I believe. So there will be plenty of targets passing us. I'm sure of that. I do not need to uh, waste my periscope and lower it so much, because the waves are taking care of that for me. Okay, we are getting quite close to this guy. I will have to be careful that I don't get run over by one of the ships when I pass this column. Let's see. Ready to take a speed reading. Here it comes. And of course the wave screws it up. Come on. Let's start. Yeah, it started too late. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Length of this ship, pretty small, about a hundred meters. They are armed. There's a gun. I will let a few seconds more pass than is necessary to compensate for the earlier mistake. So it, I believe about 25 seconds for this ship to pass. 25 seconds. When I put that to a length of about 100 meters, that gives me a speed of almost 8 knots. Let's dial that in. Sounds about right. Up periscope, look for next target. As I said, I need to be careful that none of them is running me over. While I'm penetrating towards the second column here. Take a good look at our opportunities. That over there, I believe that might be worthwhile. It looks like a pretty big ship. Um, divided superstructure. Yeah, that might that might be sizable. Okay, but right now, uh, dive down to 22 meters. Though, I think I should be actually fine. Yeah, we are fine. I can stay up. I can stay here. Reverse the dive. Let's have a quick look at this ship. Yeah, my course estimate is pretty accurate. Still down periscope. Hydrophone, give me report on nearest warship. Closing, bearing 204. Let's take a quick look in that direction. Oh, the boat did dive, but we are we are once again bobbing up. By the way, we have to slow down. One and a half knots. That will help us to maintain depth. 204 was the warship reported. Medium range. No visual. This guy will get pretty close. I will have to be careful with my periscope. So far so good. So far, so good. Up periscope for a moment. Very close to me. Give me sight to that big ship that I'm hunting. Come on, 
is it? Should be somewhere in this direction, I believe. Waves. This one's pretty close now. Let's keep our periscope down for the moment. I don't want to be spotted here at the last moment, and <laughs> let's be careful that the conning tower doesn't broach the surface. That would be bad. He's, di he's passing directly behind me, unarmed. Let's try to take another look towards the back of the convoy. Next ship's approaching, quite a lot of them. Is this the target? Give me a clear picture here. Uh, the waves... No, you're not my target. Are you my target? Possibly. How many rows of ships do we have? I think it's only the two. I don't think I see a third row. No. I don't think so. So they're sailing in two rows. This one isn't small either. Ah, uh, medium sized. Let's call it that. I want to take another good look at the one that I'm aiming for. I might still be sailing too fast. Is it this one? Possibly? Three masts? Come on, give me a good look. Uh, no, I don't think that's the one. Maybe that one there? Yeah, I think that's the one. Oh, damn. This is not good, I'm getting too close. I'm getting too close. By the time that I'm in position, it will be too close. Currently, course 226. I will have to return to 226, but for now, I will yeah, make a turn. Let's make a turn. Let's bring the speed up a bit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Derzeitige Fahrt, zwei Knoten. Control room. Let's have a quick look at the engine telegraph here. 100 revolutions per minute on each engine. That's still pretty quiet. That's okay. Let's make sure that our crew is ready for anything that might come up. Engine crew, let's uh, switch them around. Make sure that we have a well-rested crew on the engines, just in case. It's always good before the shooting starts, take a moment, go through all the things, make sure that you have everything set up correctly that you are ready for any eventuality that might come up. Command room crew, I might exchange you guys. You know, everything just in case. Okay. Let's make sure that the torpedo room crew is well rested as 
Well, because they might be called on. Kriegsschiff kommt näher auf 3, 3, 2. Große Entfernung. Kontakt. Kriegsschiff. Entfernung gleichbleibend auf 5, 8. Große This Entfernung. One. Okay. So, there we go. We have a good crew. Torpedo officers here. They are fine. We can take this torpedo man and we can exchange him for one of those. This would give me a bit more Contact. capacity Com here. Let's exchange the hydrophone operator. Make sure that he's well rested. Good. Good. These guys can stay in their quarters for now. Alright, I think that's a good setup that we can do something with. And then if required I will move in more guys. For now, this is good. Did we complete the turn? Almost. I'm now in between the columns of ships. Oh. What are you? You might be a big one. But okay, do not get distracted. Have a good look around. Just which one is my target? Not you. You look weird, but you look also pretty small, so I'm not interested. Was it this one? If it's this one, then it came closer than I thought it would in that short amount of time. Yes, I think that's my target. I will take another look at the other ships, just to confirm that I'm really looking at the biggest one. That over there. Pretty tall masts, but I don't think it's a big ship. Tall masts might be an indication for a deep draft. It's not 100% guaranteed though. That's a destroyer in the back. Shoot. That's not nice. Okay, what about you? You are a pretty big ship to be honest. I think you you aren't. You are small. You are not too big either. Okay. Let's focus on my real target here. coming up here. Okay. Down periscope. And let's turn back to 226. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs 227. Come on, turn. I don't want to mess this up. I think our speed estimate is good enough, especially at this range. And we will be shooting with a spread, so at least one torpedo should hit the target. Will the to torpedoes actually hit or will they run beneath the target? Well, who knows. Can't really tell. Okay, we are turning nicely. Let's see if we are turning fast enough. Once again, not my target. You are. And yes, I am turning fast enough for this. So, reduce speed ja, to one and a half knots. Let's come to the hydrophone. I want to know if there are more destroyers behind the convoy. Destroyer, destroyer. Destroyer that way. Destroyer that way. I'm hearing four destroyers now. Still, I think my best shot here might be after I fire dive beneath this final row of ships and just keep going this way. 
that might be best. Back to the periscope. Let's take another look. Our target is coming up nicely. And we are completing our turn. Which is very good. Yeah, and we will have to fail soon. Opening the tubes. We'll have to fire once it is on this bearing and we have completed our turn. Which is almost complete. Spread of three degrees for now. Let's see if I want to keep it that way or if I want to increase it. I want to definitely increase it. You know what? That ship isn't as big as I thought, but it's what we are rolling with right now. Contact. Frachter. Entfernt sich. Auf neun, sieben. Increase spread to four and a half degrees. Prepare to fire. Both torpedoes. Go. Down periscope, dive, dive, dive. And we, we will watch. I want to see this. If we fail this, I want to know why. Here they come. Oh, this is actually looking good. That's a hit. And that should be another one. Two hits. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. This ship will go down. They are not having a good time right now. Okay, and we are diving down, slowly. Torpedoes are being reloaded, but you know what, I don't want it right now. Silent running. And keep the speed down. Let's listen for destroyers. There's one. There's one. There's one going fast. Now with a bit of luck, they will have no clue where those torpedoes came from because I did fire electric torpedoes and those don't leave a bubble trail. It is very unlikely that in these waves the crew of the ship noticed the torpedoes before they impacted, so they will have absolutely zero idea about where these things came from. We should be good. We should absolutely be good here. Derzeitige Tiefe 2 Okay. Current depth 20. This destroyer back here, this is my biggest worry. There's no destroyer in front of me. Do you hear this? This noise? Water rushing into the ship. Things happening to it that are not nice. Yeah. Let's have a... Oh! Well, that was fast. That was very fast. I didn't expect it to sink so soon. 
But this, this serves to show you how shallow it is here. I mean, look at this. Just 40 meters. It's nothing. It really isn't. It's very shallow. It already set on the bottom. Amazing hit. And yeah, with a bit of luck, they have no clue what just happened. This hit would have been an enticing target, to be honest. It's also a big one. But what we have to worry about now is this here. He is going in the wrong direction. Thank God. At least for now. At least for now, he is going in the wrong direction. And, well, the other destroyers, they are nowhere to be seen as of right now. Oh, this is also a fat one, now that I look at it. Okay, so there are a few ships here that could have served as nice targets. The destroyer in the front, he is sitting there for the moment. If this really worked, then they have absolutely zero idea about where these torpedoes just came from. I think there's another one out here. Yeah. Another one here. So yeah, the ships are alarmed. They will start to zigzag, they will start to evade. But with a lot of luck, they will assume that uh, a mine, or well, two mines, struck the ship. And I will be able to just slip away. That's the hope right now. How deep am I diving, by the way? What the dive water? Torpedo impact, yes. 33 meters, that's fine. We're almost there. Reloading torpedoes. I think I'm loading electric torpedoes again. But I don't want to load them right now. That's not necessary. And since we have switched off the uh, regular light and have switched on the red light, it seems as if darkness is approaching. That's perfect. That might even help us to slip away. Good. Now. This will take some time, doing which we hopefully won't be discovered. So, I'll continue this, and once I am safe and secure, or once they've found me and start plastering me with, me with death charges, I will resume the video. Until then, see you in a bit. Welcome back. It is now almost 10 o'clock and we have not been detected. In fact, I think they've given up the search and continued on their merry way. Because if I ask for an update on the warship, they are moving away already at long range. 215. Let's go to the attack periscope and verify that. We are at periscope depth again. 215. That way. Let's see. Can I see them at all? No. No, I don't think I can. I think they are already back in the fog, disappeared for good, and I'm not going after them. The risk reward situation is not ideal. They are quite close to the 4th or 4th, 
and this here, these harbors might actually be the, their destination. So even if I surface right now, and I run after them, by the time that I've overtaken them, they might be already so close that they get even more destroyer escorts. And who knows if they have mines in this area or not. So I'm not too keen to follow them right now. The area is just not good for such attacks. But this is the patrol grid that was assigned to me. AN-51. So here I am. Ah oh, well. I've already reloaded torpedoes. While I was down there. So I have two new electric torpedoes in tubes 1 and 4. This is such a huge advantage of the Type 7 over the Type 2. I have so many torpedoes on board. It is, it is genuinely amazing. Okay. Let's clear everything here and I will set course eastwards. We are going back out to sea to hopefully deeper waters. That's the plan right now. And we will surface the boat. Let's take a quick look around just to make sure that there are no surprises waiting. But now it looks good. We can surface. Down periscope. Increase speed. And we are struggling to surface in this river. But come on. Now we're getting there. We are getting there, but it's difficult. Okay, chief engineer. Come on, switch over to diesel engines. There we go, diesel engines are running. And we are recharging batteries. We did not expend a lot of battery power during this attack. We are... Uh, yeah, we are just at... I don't know, what is that? 90%? Absolutely fine. Okay. I think we are starting to surface now. Let's check on the crew. Yeah. Fresh guys. They have the first watch. You can go and rest. I will need to move you guys to rest. Yeah, I'll do that stuff off screen. Night is coming. That will give me additional protection. I will be able to run eastwards without having to fear airplanes interfering. So that's perfect. And with that all said, let's check what did we actually sink. We sunk an ore carrier type 3 of 6177 tons. That's a really nice hit there. That is a nice result. It really is. I like that. That's good. That's really good. Good result for our first attack with the Type 7 submarine. May there be many more to come. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed the first episode with our new submarine. And trust me, there will be a lot of good stuff coming. Until then, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure to share the video around. Maybe give it a like or something like that if you enjoyed it. And until next time, have some really great days. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. Harsh weather. Oh well. Goodbye.